Welcome builders, Andy is your here. Welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. And this time it is a delightful little watchtower made with some spruce, some oak, some warped wood, and some, I guess, stone bricks down here, and even smooth stone, which is probably the most expensive. And of course, some packed mud and mud brick stairs. The ingredients list is on the screen just now. There you go. I'll also put a link in the description so you can have a look at that. Uh, so this little room here is simply a ladder up and there is actually a ladder all the way up to this door here. Let me go through. So you could extend that ladder up for easy access, but this has a little fun wrap around staircase. And it just looks so cool. I've not made a little staircase like that before in 10 years of playing Minecraft, but I think it looks awesome. By the way, if you want to download the schematic or the lightmatic of this tower, plus a whole bunch of other towers which we have been building over the last few weeks, towers and gatehouses. Gatehouses, of course, defend your kingdom. So there we go. Got lots and lots of different designs all on my Patreon and you can download them for joining my Patreon at the gold or higher level. And you can also get this entire map just for by joining even the lowest tier on my Patreon as well. Patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. So the base of this, I'm not going to show you uh, how to build it because it's just made of higgledy piggledy bits of stone. And I guess your terrain is your terrain. You'll build this wherever you want to build it. It's a nice looking watchtower. I think, you know, the very top, I didn't show you the top, Doo -doo -doo. the top is rather cool i think as well by the way to get to the top you go down this ladder and then out to the little spiral staircase again but there is a good view from up here and you can even open these bits as well and really shoot down at your enemies who are trying to attack so there we go not bad huh oops never mind right so the space you'll need uh, some sort of base some sort of outcrop I've made mine with stone, you could do yours with any, and I've made a little staircase up here, but you will need a nine by five space, so five blocks across by nine. Okay, so that's a five by nine, and then you'll need a four, another four sticking out the side. One, two, three, four. If I take off my shaders, we should be able to see a little outline of these blocks. So uh, let's get building. So this uh, little hut here uses a mixture of these packed muds and these mud bricks and some mud brick stairs. It doesn't matter exactly if you get them perfect. Uh, and I guess that one there turned out to be cracked stone bricks. Doesn't matter too much which materials you use as long as they're generally mud and stone bricks like that. So there's a mixture of cracked, mossy, normal stone bricks, what you do, what you use is kind of up to you. So that would be the first nine by five shape here. And then we can continue on in this direction using smooth stone. We've got some mossy stone bricks as well, like that. We'll need a ladder right there. And I guess we're gonna place a door and a door just there. Okay, on up to the next level, we're going to be having some windows in here. So we've got packed mud, we've got uh, mud bricks and windows all the way along. Again, the actual placement of what's a mud brick, what's a packed mud, doesn't matter too much. You get the idea. So place those blocks roughly there, then use a mixture of mossy and cracked and smooth. The smooth bricks are the ones you need to get kind of right because they're definitely going to go in the corners. What do you put in between? That is kind of up to you. So there we go, that's the first two layers done. Again, it's just the corner blocks which need to, need to be, they need to be smooth stone. Everything else uh, can just be a mixture of blocks. You could even mix in other things like andesite, and cobblestone as well. Onto the third level. Here we've got an upside down mud brick stairs and then it's just packed mud. That one could be, couldn't it? That one could be this, let's do that. I don't know why. Don't know why I didn't do that. Let me see. This could be, yeah, it should be upside down mud brick stairs. Again, packed mud, mud brick, keep it going all the way around. And then onto this side, 
we're into stone brick territory and again smooth stone definitely in the corners uh, this one is to be an upside down stone brick or mossy is good as well and then here is smooth stone smooth stone smooth stone smooth stone you can see it's the corners kind of alternating in this sort of shape all the way up cracked or mossy in between and that is level three complete oh need another ladder just there okay onwards and upwards we're going to go around this nine by five shape here pretty much any blocks you want just from the palette i've gone for mossy cracked stone bricks in fact these are not even going to get seen so you could be they, from the outside they're not going to get seen are they so they could be absolutely anything you want here we've got smooth stone in the corners as usual and then we're going for a little bit of stone brick work including um, stone brick stairs just there like that so that must be a window coming up just above it i guess so that completes that section apart from where we are starting to put on some warped stairs like that same over here and one more ladder so that is the fourth level complete again doesn't need to be absolutely perfect and it doesn't need to be an exact copy of what i'm doing we've got a uh, smooth stone in the corners as long as it's roughly the right materials iron bars to keep things secure down below mossy stone bricks right there and another ladder oops not on there on there so here i've gone for upside down oak stairs just to make it look a little bit nicer from the inside you might want to place them after you've done the outside blocks that's going to be a lot simpler mud bricks one two three four five that's the fifth level and then we carry on with our roofage should be pretty straightforward to copy there and there just a standard sloped minecraft roof made of stair blocks somebody asked me recently what's my favorite block to use in minecraft it has to be has to be stair blocks okay well so what level is this this is the sixth level up we've got smooth stone in the corners and the rest of these are going to be a jumble of mossy normal and cracked stone bricks same across there here i've got um oak slabs you can see they're just upper slabs and that is a little bit of a floor for this level the roof continues so so easy so easy upside down at the end standard roof you know how to do roofs i i, I can tell you're good at roofs <laughs> and then we've got a ladder there oh this is a spruce logs in there so i think that looks pretty good once you're inside just finishes off that roof there and of course you could put some uh, lanterns and things and furniture in there that would be up to you okay so that is six levels done on to level seven we've got more of these smooth stones in the corners nice mixture here of blocks oh in fact we've got smooth stones making an l shape on this particular level right then we're on to spruce log sorry oak log it is right there and another ladder to take us up to the next level here we've got uh, warped and warped stairs with simple lower warped slabs like that so that is level seven smooth stones in the corner for level eight and a nice mixture of stone bricks mossy or cracked or ordinary oak and ladder and that is quick isn't it it's quick very quick one two three four five six so that is the eighth level don't forget you jazz this up you make it look cool with uh, glow berries with vines with lanterns we've got barrels at the side as well add whatever you can just to to bring it to life i feel okay the ninth level 
again we're going to go for these L-shaped with the smooth stone in between pretty much anything you like what have we got here ah so we're, we're going to be using stairs so this is going to be stairs kind of facing in the way and upside down stairs and these are actually really going to be supporting the three by three tower that sits on top we've got a kind of a three by three tower sitting on top so that's kind of uh you're imagining that, that those upside down stairs are going to be supporting supporting that uh around the outside as you can see we have got stone brick stairs upside down all the way around and that brings us on to the three by three level so let's do that oh we do have these fancy blocks chiseled 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 uh stone bricks there and we've got walls in between cool so the middle of this is a cross shape like that i've got a, a, a door in there a spruce door in there and then so we've got the cross shape the door forming one axis of the cross and then stone brick walls there so again, use a mixture. I've got for ordinary stone bricks there and I've got cracked ones there, but it's important to use a mixture. Uh, one more ladder and one more stair there. So it's a spruce stair. And up we go. Ooh, we've got these beautiful stone slabs to finish our little crenellations at this level. We've got another spruce stair going up and then one spruce slab facing that way walls in the corner block 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 anything you like and then another ladder as well so this is we'll call this we'll start counting again here we'll call this level two of the skinny tower this is going to take some work um what i'm not going to do is put the trap doors on as i build we'll go back and put the trap doors on a little bit later on so wall 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 block 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 Ooh, this block is above the door, so it should be upside down stairs. That just makes the, the door look a bit better. Oh, and have you noticed I've gone for some mossy stone brick walls as well? So mix them in. Doesn't that need to be exactly the same places as me, but you can mix them in. So going for some um, spruce slabs to bring the stairs up. So that is the third level done of our mini tower. Onwards and upwards. Again, we'll just pick off the easy blocks, which are walls. Could be mossy, could not be mossy. Some more stone brick blocks there, mossy or ordinary. Another slab, another slab. So we're just going up half slabs at a time from now on. Half blocks. We're going up by half blocks. So it's stair, stair, and then that one's exactly the same level there. And then it's very simple just to creep up the stairs. One, two, three, four. Fourth level. Fifth level. Wall, wall, wall. Block, 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 block. Slab, slab. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's fifth, right? Sixth level is going to be wall, 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 block, 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 block. Mix, mixed, mix it up. It could be ordinary, it could be cracked. And then just keep on going with the slabs. And that's all we're going to be doing. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six levels done. On to the seventh. And then keep the slabs going onto the eighth wall 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 block 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 slab slab <laughs> onto the ninth wall 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 block 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 slab slab onto the tenth wall 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 block 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 slab slab i wonder if my neighbors can hear me that would be embarrassing wall 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 block 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 why does he keep saying wall 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 block 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 slab slab <laughs> oh i've lost count is that as that was at 10 hopefully this is the 11th one two three four two three four slab slab let's count actually how many levels have we done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh that was 12 that was 12 levels there so now we're on to the 13th 
wall, 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 block, 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 slab, slab, 14th, wall, 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 block, 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 slab, slab, <laughs> uh, 15th, wall, 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 block, 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 slab, slab, 16th, wall, 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 block, 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 slab, slab, uh, 17th, wall, 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 block, 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 slab, slab. Um, 18th, wall, 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 block, 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 slab, slab. 19th, ah, we're getting there, we're getting there. So this is actually chiseled stone bricks in the corner. Chiseled stone bricks, what have we got here? Block, 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 block. Oh, and another block, right in the middle this time. Slab, slab. So, uh, on top of this level, we're going to go a little kind of a C shape. Oh. Is that meant to be a block? I think it's meant to be a block there. Yeah, then the ladder comes up from there. That makes sense. So, one more slab just there. We'll go back and put on the trap doors a little bit later on. Let's move up. Let's call this kind of the... We'll start counting again here since we're above the chiseled stone bricks level. So that's level one. Level two, another C shape and a ladder. Level three, all the way around this time. And then we're going to stick out some stone brick stairs upside down like that. Cool. And then another ladder and then we're really on to this stage here which is probably the most complicated bit of the whole build so let's take our time with this we're starting to build the actual watchtower part at the top so another run of eight blocks all the way around like that again simple mixture mossy cracked or normal stone bricks we want to place these on so let me show you what i've done with these these are upside down facing the wrong way spruce stairs and then we'll have spruce stairs on the outside of them like that oh don't forget the ladder so once you've done that level we're on to the next one so the next one hmm where should we start let's start with the middle because that gives us a nice basis to work with so Again, mossy cracked or ordinary stone bricks all the way around. Let's bring the spruce out from the middle. So three bits of spruce. Like that. Three bits of spruce like that. That should be pretty straightforward. And then can you see I've, I've done upside down oak stairs on... What I'll do is just maybe switch off the lightmatic tracing so you can see exactly what I'm doing here like that and like that. Yeah, it reveals this, that little quarter block there, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, we'll switch it back on because we've got some um, slabs to put in. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have seven slabs. So it starts on the spruce, one, two, one, two, and then we've got one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, little L shape. Place those two, place those two, L shape. And that's that. Next, we've got some trap doors going on. And these are facing the very ends. Like that. And then these trap doors I faced in this way. You're going to have to make a decision about which way you face these in. Maybe I haven't been consistent there. Never mind. Well, it looks like we've got some buttons to put on as well. And those birch buttons are going to be difficult to place until we have the layer above done. So let's move on up. Okay, so we're going to need um, these spruce logs kind of floating right there in the corners. Another one in the middle and another ladder. Oops. Oh, yeah, that is a trapdoor. That is a trapdoor. It lets you in and out. Cool. Um, so let's go back down a level and we can put buttons underneath. It makes it look as if it's all 
join together one is missing from that one there okay upper level as you can see we are doing uh trap doors so what i'll do is i'll just place all these and then go around and shut them so can you notice how they are sticking out they're overlapping it creates a nice illusion of depth i think it just looks like a better structure when you are doing that it gives you more space up here you can have a full block to stand in a full block to put a chest down for example so let's get the rest of these done so the blue outline is lightmatic it shows you where to place the blocks you could uh, if you download the lightmatic from my patreon patreon.com forward slash andy zero you could put this onto any map or server you wished okay so that is probably the hardest part of this tutorial is now finished i just love the way trapdoors interact with um slabs there I think that looks so so cool onwards and upwards very simple level we've got spruce logs and a dark oak fence right in the middle uh, what do we have here? So more dark oak fences. I would put them in first. And then you've got to try and put on upper warped slabs from dark oak fence to dark oak fence. Once that is done, it's quite easy. You've got two diagonals two diagonal slabs there we go one more dark oak fence in the middle then we're up to the next level which is very simple warped slabs this time you're including all the corners it's like a continuous path you could walk along this path and it goes around the whole shape Do you know what I mean? Continuous path. You're not going to fall off. Whereas the, the layer below is not a continuous path because the corner blocks are missing. Layer above, again, another continuous path. And I think this is a good way of doing round roofs. You start with the bottom layer, doesn't have these corner blocks, but the layers above do. Here I've added a couple of dark oak fences, probably going to be providing us space for a lantern maybe. Up again. So you need to put these ones in first and then it's just continuous all the way around. And then another slab in the middle. And it should look something like that. Maybe if I hold the camera about here, you should have an idea. Okay, so um, this is my go-to flag. I put one two three four fence posts up have a couple of blocks have another one on top of the fence post and then i've got a block right here so that's my go-to flag that i do all the time right what we do want to do is move ourselves right down to here because i want to talk about the um the trap doors the spruce trap doors so hopefully we can get into a bit of a routine with these trap doors and i won't have to show you everything the start off though there's no trap doors kind of you know i haven't put a trap door there for example it shouldn't be too dangerous but here we do need trap doors so that gets us on to working on the middle block here so we're going to go one, two, three, like that. So the middle block gets three. Then we're on to the corner. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the corners get four all the way around. Then we're on to the middle block. Ah, so this is maybe a pattern we can use. The pattern is three on the middle block right above the slab. So if we go up again, you can see it's always three on the middle block. Yeah. 
always three on the middle block. So we do have a bit of a pattern that we can use. And then it's four trapdoors round, but on top of and outside of the corner slab. One, two, three, four. Like that. So here we should see the same. It is one, one two, three, four. Got their middle blocks. One, two, three, four. Middle blocks we know are three, three, <laughs> three. There's a lot of them. <laughs> three. Um, there we go. Do, 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 do. So all I've got to do is put these corner blocks on. I'll let you guys do that. And then at the very, very top, again, we've got four. So that is exactly the same. Now, is this bit going to be different because it is the top of the build? Not really. It's, again, another three of these. Boop, boop, boop. And then that one. Boom. Like that. And apart from the corners, that would be the whole thing finished. What do you think? Don't forget to add some vines, add some glow berries as well. And if you use shears on the very last glow berry, it stops it growing from uh, any further as well. And we'll switch shaders back on because the whole thing looks really, really cool. BSL shaders. And that is, that is my favorite out of all the ones we designed. That is my favorite watchtower. Hey, if you'd like more tutorials, then do me a favor. Hit that like button. Leave a nice comment. Tell me what you'd like me to build next. And then maybe see you on my Discord. Link is on the down below. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you. What have I got? A carrot or something? Oh, I've got glowberries. That's it. That's it.